to another Chingo Gringo beer review. Today we have an American beer and it's one of my favorite styles. Do you remember a while back and a couple of reviews back, uh, I did a review of Highland Brewing Company. Um, I did a review of their Black Mocha Stout, remember that? Well today is the other, my other favorite beer, dark beer. Can you guys guess what it is? That's right, it's a porter. So I'm going to review Highland Brewing Company's Oatmeal Porter. Okay, a little information about this beer. Now you remember Highland Brewing Company, I gave a little overview of the brewery, how they started and when they started and a little bit of background information. So I won't repeat over that. Um, however, I will tell you a little bit about this beer, starting with what it says here on the bottom. Uh, Oatmeal Porter. Tradition led to a uniquely smooth combination. Porter was the dominant style in Britain throughout the 19th century. Our addition of flaked oats produces a silky mouthfeel, unusual for beers this dark. It is very malty, with hints of chocolate, roasted flavor, and a well-balanced hop character. Um, this beer has 5.9% ABV and uh, 35 IBUs. Um, a little bit of background about uh, the history of the porter style. Uh, this, this style uh, originates, of course, in England, in London, England, actually, uh, with um, the dock workers, um, which are called porters, uh, um, working on the, the docks of the River Thames. And um, they really liked the dark uh, roasted uh, ales that were served in the local pubs uh, close to the docks there and um, they would uh, traditionally uh, porters are served with oysters um, i love oysters myself i don't have any to to drink or to eat with this beer uh, but it was served to them because oysters were very cheap and uh, inexpensive uh, for the dock workers they don't they didn't make a lot of money so that's where the porter style that's where the name porter comes from uh, you started with uh, the guys who worked at the docks, the porters. Okay, so um, let's pour this up and see what we have here. Ooh, I forgot. You guys like to see it pour at home, don't you? We can't, this glass is too short. So I'll keep pouring it over here. Huh? Okay, now this is pouring with a a really nice uh, head. Show it to you guys before it gets down too far. Nice uh, finger head, about about a finger head, and uh, a very dark, dark color. Now it is a little bit translucent. It's kind of hard to see, uh, and I don't think I can hold it so you can see. But um, you see near the bottom there, it's a little translucent there. Um, but uh, it's very dark, and the head uh, the head is uh, like a creamy tan color, and um, very nice um, head retention, good head retention, and nice lacing on the glass, as you see. Okay, I can smell it from here. It smells so good. Um, but let's go in and have a closer look. Uh, inspection with our nose. Mmm. Wow. Remember it said on the bottle about that roasted chocolate smell? That's what I'm getting. Uh, roasted malt uh, chocolate. Um, just a hint of, of coffee in there. Um, definitely smell some hop aroma as well. Um, what else? What else? Nutty, a little bit of nutty aroma as well. Okay, so we've come to the important part, the tasting. So let's see how this uh, porter stacks up, shall we? Ooh, that is tasty. Mm. And, uh, Velvety, a very smooth as silk velvety mouthfeel uh, to this beer. Um, 
very nice body to this beer as well. Um, Ooh, that's good. Now, this beer can be dangerous. It's 5.8, and I um, I don't detect any alcohol uh, flavors there. Uh, just mainly the the malt, uh, the roasted malt, and caramel uh, flavor in there. Uh, uh, nutty, um, everything you get with a uh, heavy roasted malt beer, uh, like a porter. Um, and it has a really nice, uh, uh, in, in the middle and also in the finish, a nice bitterness as well. Um, let's check the uh, lacing again, as you can see. Nice lacing on the glass. Um, uh, let's see, what else? Um, my buddy, uh, a buddy of mine, Del Feltner, picked this up for me. When he was in the states, uh, and um, so it's a treat because I, as you know, I'm here in in Mexico in Cancun, exact uh, location in Cancun, and it's a little difficult to get American craft beer here. Um, so this was a treat for me, especially it's one of my favorite beer styles. Um, well, I, I'm gonna in this uh, review short today. Um, I've been running a little bit long lately, so I'll end this one short. Um, this beer is outstanding. This beer, um, I'm going to get just that the oats, the oatmeal that they, uh, the flaked oats they, they use here, gives this beer such a wonderful, a wonderful mouth feel and a wonder, a wonderful. Uh, sorry, man. Um, a wonderful. What's the word I'm looking for? Body wonderful body to this beer. So, um, I'm going to give this beer uh, 9 out of 10 today. It's an outstanding beer by Highland Brewing Company and uh, they, remember, they're located in Asheville, North Carolina. So, uh, hats off to you guys at Highland Brewing Company in Asheville, North Carolina for brewing uh, this amazing porter. And uh, until next time, Remember to, um, I forgot to mention, remember to subscribe and comment and share this video if you liked it. And also give me a thumbs up if you liked and enjoyed it. So until next time, guys, remember, keep pouring them up, keep drinking them down. Cheers, guys.